Well, you know what? Uh, red tide here is now in the moderate to high category in Lee and Collier County and Charlie County. Not quite as bad, but we're starting to see something maybe a little bit different, maybe something you might not expect with red tide. We're actually seeing uh, wild birds of prey like vultures, as you see here, that are preying on dead fish. Now, when red tide reaches those even low levels, we start to see some dead fish wash up on shore, places like Fort Myers Beach, possibly, and down toward Naples. Well, we're seeing that right now, in fact, and we are seeing with this next video some of that dead fish that we've been seeing over the past few weeks here in southwest Florida. Now, red tide has been with us for several weeks, in fact. We seem to get it every year. So what exactly is red tide? Basically, when we get those algae blooms, it can actually make the water red or brown. That's why they call it red tide. And weather does play a part in this, in fact. When it's warm out, when we get some runoff of possible chemicals like pesticides and uh, stuff like that into the water, it can cause those algae to bloom even more. So when vacationers come down, that's one thing that they have to watch out for. Here's what someone had to say about this year's red tide. It doesn't seem as bad as it was a couple years ago, for sure, but I certainly don't like it. Well, Again, this year, red tide isn't quite as bad as it has been in previous years, but it, unfortunately, it is forecast to stick with us for at least the next week or so. What we really need is a strong cold front with strong northeasterly winds to push this red tide out to sea and get it out of here. Now, the Rose Camp Institute is an institute in Sarasota that has done a couple of studies. In fact, they did a study over the past couple of years on how red tide affects neurological disorders like Alzheimer's. And in fact, they've noticed that people have been going into the emergency room with not just respiratory symptoms with red tide, but neurological disorders and, and symptoms of that nature. So what they're doing is they're setting up another research lab right here on Sanibel. In fact, January 16th, there's going to be a mobile research lab at the post office on Sanibel. If you're interested in volunteering, the telephone number is 941-256-8019, extension 30. 008. Live at Punarasa, I'm Fox 4 meteorologist Eric Stone. All right.